What's up everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and today I'm gonna show you how to adjust a submenu width in the Mega Menu widget, as our support team often hears such type of requests. I've created a menu for the site and added it to the header. It works fine, but I don't know how to set the submenu to full width. No worries guys, we'll sort it out in a minute. First, let's see what this guy means. Here we are on the front page of the website, and once we hover over the menu item with a submenu in it, we see that its container is too narrow and the content in it looks a bit clunky, right? So what we want to do instead in this situation is to set the submenu width to either full or boxed, as this way we will have a much better display of all the submenu items in the menu. So in order to do that, we first need to make sure that the revamp menu option is enabled. For that, let's follow to Crocoblock, Jet Plugin Settings, expand the Jet Menu tab and click on the General Settings. Basically, when this option is on, we have an opportunity to customize the menu right in the editor via the Mega Menu widget in Elementor or Mega Menu block in Gutenberg without any need in duplicating same adjustments here in the dashboard in these two tabs. Okay, so now let's edit the submenu. For that, follow to Appearance, Menus, select Desired Menu, and open the settings of the corresponding menu item, departments in my case. Here's the place where all the settings of the mega content are located. So let's click on the Edit Mega Content button. And there we go. So right here, we need to select a section with the mega content, which is basically the submenu, and set up the content widths under the Layout tab. So we can either choose the option boxed and apply the desired width to this section, or we can set it to full width. So let's stick with the full width first, as it was the initial question, right? And then I'll show you how it looks with the boxed option selected. Okay, so let's update the changes, close the pop-up window, save the changes in the mega content, and don't forget to save the menu as well. Okay, and right now let's open the header with the menu. In my case, it was created with the help of the Jet Theme Core plugin and it is located in Crocoblock Theme Templates. If you've created your menu with the help of Elementor, you should be able to find it in Templates saved templates section. So anyway, let's click on the header tab and edit the header with Elementor. Okay, so over here, select the Mega Menu widget and pay attention to the Mega Container Woods type under the Layout tab. Currently, it is set to Container, which basically makes the submenu box fit the Mega Menu Widgets container. So we've set the submenu to full width, but since this option has a priority, it limits the submenu size to the widgets container. Let's see what happens when we select the Items option. The changes in this case are not that big, but still pretty obvious. So now our submenu is limited to the widths of the items available here in the menu. So one more time, container and items. Okay guys, so as you understand, both of these options would not work in our case. So what we need to do is to choose the selector option. And as you can see, another field Custom Selector appears right away and kind of gives us a hint that it has to be filled out for this option to work properly. So where do we get this Custom Selector from? What we can do now is open the front page, for example, and inspect the section with the header. 
So you can click on this little icon to select the convenient element and right here you'll find the class of this section. So we can either type it in or copy and paste it into this field. But please keep in mind that a dot is always required in front of the class. So let's hover over the menu item right now and there we go, the submenu is set to full width. So let's save the changes and check out the front end. So let's refresh the page. Let's hover over the menu item. And there we go, it works just as requested, right? Now let's go back to the submenu settings, which is located in Appearance, Menus, Settings, Mega Content. And now let's select the section one more time, but this time change the content width to boxed and set the width to somewhere around 1200. Okay, don't forget to save the changes everywhere. Good. And now we can check out the front end one more time to see the difference. There we go. Looks pretty nice, right? So basically this way you can customize the width of the submenu box to the bits. Just in case the settings in the mega menu widget in the header stay the same. Custom selector is chosen as the mega container width type. So Croco people, this is it for today. Don't forget to give this video a like if it was helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. Take care and stand with Ukraine.